Hi guys, my name is Abigail Haley and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another holiday um, review, first impressions, tutorial, all that fun stuff. Um, this is the Part 2 Bear Minerals Collection Holiday Set video and this one is all about the huge Bare Minerals Storybook Romance 16 Piece Collection. And can I just go ahead and say really fast that Bare Minerals, I think, wins the cake for beautiful packaging this year. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is. It looks like a storybook. It looks like something that I could just slide onto my bookcase. And it is stunning. Um, it has the red backing with gold writing all over it and then around the sides and then it has a little key and it's just absolutely beautiful and then when you open it it has like a little story type reading and then all 16 products right here and even the inside is beautifully done with the gold detailing and it's just beautiful like I think even after I take out these products to put them in my drawers I will probably keep this and just do something with it. Um, I'm not really going to be doing any swatches like right here because I'm doing, um, I just filmed a tutorial on this look using pretty much everything in this. I mean plus like you know obviously there's no foundation or anything in here so I had to use some outside sources but pretty much everything in this kit got used um, to make this look. So you guys will get to pretty much see every item in use in action and I do go into pretty, some pretty good details because I decided to do like a face-to-face -face chat instead of a voiceover but as um, you'll hear later on pretty much 12 out of the 16 things in here are definitely keepers for me two of the things I'm okay with I'm gonna try to figure out what to do with and then two of the things I'm gonna give to my mom so everything will get used, just maybe not exactly by me. And when I go into, when I hop into the tutorial, I'm gonna let you guys know exactly um, what I liked and what I really didn't. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of briefly go over what's inside of it because I don't remember exactly how well I did with detailing that while I was doing the tutorial. So it's just gonna be like really quick detailing, and then we'll hop in. So at the very top right here, you have your six eyeshadow pigments right here. Um, then you have your two Marvelous Moxie lip glosses, two eyeliners, the Lash Domination uh, mascara. You have two blushes down here and then two all over face powders. The last but not least is the eyeshadow primer. Now, let's hop into price very quickly. So this is a $79 product and it is a $242 value. So just looking like on the Sephora website, the Lash Domination Mascara is $18. The Marvelous Moxie lip glosses are also $18. The Lasting Line Long Wear Eyeliner is $16. And the round the clock eyeliner is 16 as well. So right there, just for these five products alone, you're looking at $86. So that pretty much means that if you look at it that way, you're not only getting a $6 discount for these, but you're also getting all of the pigments and the eye primer for free. So if you really wanted to try out some of the pigments and some of the really good things that Bare Minerals has to offer and you have the money for it, I think that this is an awesome different piece for it. And I, for one, am so in love with this collection and I'm so excited to get to play with it as the month goes on. Hopefully you guys will get to see some more looks coming from me from all the amazing palettes that I have. That is kind of the goal. But we are going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial and yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I don't know if you guys can see what my shirt says. It says the black flame candle and like then underneath it says after 300 years on All Hallows Eve the witches will arise and then it has banks and then the witches brooms and, and vacuum and then the candle. And I'm like so in love with the sweater. I got it on a discount after Halloween and I'm so in love with it and I'm so glad that I found it and it's mine and I'm gonna wear it all year. I don't care that it's not Christmas anymore. All right, now moving on, sorry, to the tutorial. Go, go, go. 
Alright, so two things. A, I am not promising pretty much any success in this video whatsoever. For this holiday season, I have owned maybe four to five sample products from Bare Minerals and that was it. Pretty much ever since I started getting into makeup, I have always kind of had this thought and an idea in my head that powder for my skin because it's so dry is basically no good. Like I can't, I can't use it. I can't have any powder on my face whatsoever except for like bronzers and blushes. I cannot put mineral stuff on my face otherwise my face will just turn into this huge sand pit <laughs> pretty much. And so I never ever bought Bare Minerals because I only, th I always thought Bare Minerals was just you know, um, powder products. And so this is really the first, the first season I've actually been buying like the Bare Minerals collections and anything that has to do with Bare Minerals. So I am not going to even pretend to say that I know how to put on powder products because I do not. Now that being said, I'm going to pretend to be an expert and apply this makeup for you guys. I had to think really hard about this because I just, so it's too... It's Monday. It is Monday the 9th and I just got a notification that Grace Helbig just put up a new podcast with Mitchell Davis and I really want to listen to that but and I was just going to make this video like a voiceover but for you guys I'm going to chat through instead of doing a voiceover and listening to that while I get ready. So let's go. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using pretty much as much out of this as I can. And then I'll tell you guys like what products I'm using besides that. But we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to do the eyes first. Except I am going to go ahead and put some stuff on my face. Let that set and get ready while I'm doing my eyes. So I'm going to be doing a mixture between the MAC Strobe Liquid Lotion and the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I'm just going to get like a few pumps about two pumps of each one. The first thing that I'm going to use out of this collection is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Eyelid Primer. And this says, smooth a sheer layer onto eyelids, no need to wait. Eyelids are instantly primed, layer with Bare Minerals eye color. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and put that all over my lids. Besides this look, you'll probably never see me using this by itself simply because that does not hide my blue veins. I have really, really bad veins on my eyes and I am constantly having to cover them up normally with concealer or like a paint pot from MAC. And those are the only two things that ever seems to like hide my, my circles and my veins really well. So you do receive six of the, of the Bare Mineral eye colors. You do get six of these. And I do really want to try to stick with just these six for my eye look. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I can truly say that these are first time impressions. I've just taken off the safety seals. I have not tried these on yet, which I probably really should have simply because I really don't know how to use these yet. I'm assuming that because you put the primer on, that means that I assume that means that you can just put it straight on, straight on your eyes, right? Like, you, sh you shouldn't need anything else, right? Right? As you guys can probably tell, I am way out of my comfort zone with these right now. I'm going to start with the shade Honor. So sheer, I'm not really seeing color. I'm just seeing a lot of sparkle. We'll see. So I'm going to take, this is one of the Real Techniques uh, Bold, Real Bold, Go Bolds collection. I'm just going to sweep it. Ooh. Okay, I take everything back. That is really, really pretty. I am seeing that you can either like really put a lot on or it can be a little more sheer. So we've got the pink on and now I really want to put some of this purple on in Ambition. These have a lot of sparkle in them and I definitely like to have some matte in my looks. The problem is you can really see my veins poking through the this eye look because that primer just did not cover them I look so weird I think I'm gonna keep it 
like this for my eye look except of course I will sweep some onto the bottom lid and then I'm gonna use Virtue which is the white shade as my highlight that didn't really like blend in like my highlights normally do okay so probably can't really use this as a highlight I mean, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably doing this all wrong. You guys are probably, like, all sitting there laughing at me. So now I'm going to set all of that. And these make me nervous because I want to try these, but these are the two um, Radiance All Over Face Colors that came in this collection. And one of them is in the shade Pure Radiance, and one is in the shade Lux Radiance. Like, these do not seem like shades that I would want to put all over my skin. Like, if you can tell, like, th that that's not, like, one looks like a blush and one looks a little bit like a bronzer. Like, I think they might be, like, more like, like a topper for a blush and a topper for a bronzer, maybe. But there's no way I would dust something this glittery all over my skin. Maybe I just don't get it yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set the pow my, my powder with the way that I know best to. So I am going to go in. I feel like this is so dangerous, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to try the Pure Radiance one. It's the one that's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to take the same brush that I used to powder my face with. I feel like I'm going to regret this. I'm going to put some onto the cap. Alright, it's kind of pretty much, I guess, just like the like the eyeshadows. You can make it either more sheer or you can bring it up more in color. See, I don't think it looks bad, but I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the sparkle. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with blush. And this kit gives you two blushes. You have uh, Giddy Pink and Enchanted. And I'm going to go in with the Enchanted one. Because the Giddy Pink, I think, is more of a summer color. It's very, very bright. It's like a bright pink. While Enchanted is more, in my opinion, is more of that, like, you've been out in the snow and your cheeks are flushed and you just look really pretty and alive. Yeah, that's exactly the color I thought it would be. And that's stunning. I really, really like that. So, continuing on with the eyes, I'm going to grab Ambition on, a, on an angled flat brush. I'm just going to sweep that on the lower lash line. Alright, so I got the purple, which looks pretty cool. And then, as I said, I'm also grabbing Fable, which is the brown. And I'm just going to sweep that over the purple. So, moving on now. <laughs> I feel like this tutorial is taking forever because I'm just so unused to using mineral stuff okay so two um there are two eyeliners in this pack there is the bare minerals lasting line um long wear eyeliner and this is in lasting brown and then there is the bare minerals around the clock midnight intense cream glide eyeliner it's in black <laughs> um so we're gonna use the black one and i'm just gonna bring my mirror right up here so i can see better um, and it's going to be weird not using like a gel because I, because I'm, I normally use like the gel in the pots with a, with a brush, but this will have to do. Oh, I am not a liner and liner girl. I do not like using pencils. I just feel like this feels like so unnecessarily rough, but all right, that's just going to have to do. I'm not going to be doing any like crazy wing or anything. Um, one thing I do like about liners is how you can really get into your waterline so you don't have any of that unnecessarily like annoying line right at your lash line but I feel like I have liners that are creamier than this so it doesn't cause such a drag but these aren't bad let's just try out this one just to see see I feel like this one with this the wind up one is so much creamier Oh, yeah. I'm going to use this to a tight line. Yes. Okay, I like the long-lasting one 
I just like smoked out my bottom line. I like the long lasting one so much better than the round the clock one. And it kind of stinks because the long lasting one is brown. So I'm not going to get as much use out of that one as I would the black one. But I like the long lasting one a lot better. That one went on a lot smoother. And it's a twist up instead of one that you will have to like sharpen. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And then I'm going to be using the mascara that comes in, the, in this... It is the Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. And the wand, can I just say, is so cool. It's like twisty, like curvy all the way around. It's really cool. I've got some nice separation going on. I like that. It's not clumping together. All right, this is really buildable. That's good. Like my the more coats I put on, they're just getting longer and darker. They're not getting clumpy or anything that's awesome for the bottom lash line holy cow my lashes are getting really long i can't say for how well and make like how long this is gonna last on your lashes or how well it holds a curl but if you guys can see that difference we're zooming really close right now guys can you guys see how big of a difference that makes my eyes like that's crazy this cheek just for some reason decided to do better than this cheek today. I don't know why. Awesome. I'm really liking this mascara a lot. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some lip product. There are two Marvelous Moxies in this in this case. There is the one in Go Getter and the one in Stargazer. Go Getter is much more of that like corally pink right here, while Stargazer is similar but it's more of that like mauve cover cover color and these smell really good can i just say like they did like a plus plus for smell these aren't like annoyingly sticky which is good but i quite like it so yes that is the look that we got going on um pretty happy with this um would i is this a look that I can take the time to do every day and like sit down for, wow, um, like almost an hour and a half and do makeup? No. But things I really like, these lip glosses are great. I'm loving this mascara. If it keeps these curls and the non-clumpiness, I'm going to love this mascara. This could become a new, a new favorite mascara long lasting liner and the brown i love it i might even go get a black in this because of how creamy it was round the clock midnight midnight liner can do without not the craziest about this one so probably won't see me getting much use out of that one um i unfortunately don't really get the point or the use of the all over face colors because Maybe I just don't have the right colors, but that makes me nervous. And having that shimmer, I feel like I can get that just fine with all the highlighters that I have. But the blushes are gorgeous. I'm loving the blushes, especially the one in Enchanted that I have on my cheeks right now. It's just, I love, I really, really like these. And these are definitely ones that I would want to use. And I love the pigments. The pigments are great. I love how buildable they are. I love the color selections that they decided to put in here. I feel like they are perfect for that fall, wintery time. Um, like, you know, purples and browns and pinks. And there's even a black, or if it's not a black, it's a really, really dark one. So you could really smoke out your look if you want to. And, and then the primer was okay, but for me, I need something that has more coverage in the eyes. So really 12 out of 16 of these shade of these things I really really liked. And I mean, I'm sure I will find use out of the all over face colors. I might turn them into like toppers for blushes and highlighters because that's just how high high maintenance I am. But the eyeliner and the primer I might go ahead and give on to my mom cuz that she doesn't have as many issues with that stuff as I do and she normally uses um, pen pencils like this for eyeliner so I'm gonna let her probably have those everything else though I am like yes 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 to so yeah that's actually all that I have for you guys if you guys have any more questions about this product in general please let me know in the comments below or you can tweet me or snapchat me or Instagram me I will have all the links to my social medias down below for you guys and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it 
and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I will have all of my holiday links down below of all of the things that I mentioned, of all of the holiday palettes that I have put up so far. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!